Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir, I'm senior lecturer at Kazakh British Technical University and PhD candidate in here. And today we're gonna start our course which is called Startups and Technological Entrepreneurship, but it's not usual course, we teach it on the basis of video lectures and we give students a full framework how to go from their brilliant ideas to the minimum viable product and to the real business in final. Okay, here is the plan of our today's presentation. First of all, I will introduce you with the problem statement. Then I will tell you how do we solve this problem of the current world, uh, how we're gonna study this subject, what is the syllabus, what is the flipped class pedagogical methodology, what is a peer-to-peer -peer learning. And finally, we will discuss the grades and additional grades and additional bonuses. Okay, here is the problem statement. Why do we do what we do? So now we live in the world of disruptors. So every company, every IT company should disrupt in order to live. Okay, there is a great saying, fast kills big. So you should be fast and if you are fast, you can kill the technological giant. Why do we talk about technological giants? In 2016 happened the, the most drastic moment. Top five, uh, the most expensive companies became technological giants. They are so-called F-A-A-M-G. Facebook, Amazon, uh, Apple, Microsoft, and Google. Okay, one more statement, one more reason why students should do it is the industry 4.0. We live in a such world uh, when robots create robots and human beings even don't know what for. Okay, we are heading to the world of technological singularity where every person will live either on basic income, so-called pension from the government or create his own robots and live much better than the rest of the world. So what do you want to do? To live on the basic income or to live richer by creation of your own robots? One more reason came from the university because university wants to raise the business oriented students with the entrepreneurial mindset. What does it mean? Every student should have such approach in his mind when he sees the problem, he offers the solution. Sees the problem, offers the solution. Okay, so our students should be initiative people. Uh, the next reason is to Satya Nadella, uh, the one of the heads of the Microsoft, who said that every company will become an IT company. So the best re example is banks, because all banks are now IT companies, but with banking license. The same story happens with uh, GSM operators, all the cellular, co cellular companies, they are now converted into IT companies. Let's take a look, for example, at Beeline, who is earning much more from additional services over the top than from the providing uh, the, his clients with, uh, with voice transmission. What is a startup? Startup is a company which has the intellectual property under the hood, and this uh, IP, this technology allows the company to grow faster, much faster. We call it exponential growth. When the amount of the served clients twice every short period of time. So the growth goes like that and uh, we live in the time of acceleration of the acceleration itself. Just take a, just take a deep look into this phrase, okay? Acceleration for acceleration. And we live in VUCA world. What does it mean VUCA? Volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. And we prepare our students for such uh, undefined future. Okay, and for example, the fast changes is, uh, let's take a look at the 10 years ago when everybody used the simple phones and now everyone uses smartphones. Just try to remember your friend who is still using the simple phone. There is no such person. But 10, 10 years ago, everyone used the simple phone and there was no smartphones. The problem statement. Now I told you the objective reasons and there are subjective reasons as well. Every company, every government starts their own digitalization initiative. For example, in Kazakhstan, there is such pro governmental program as Digital Kazakhstan, which says that we should foster um, youth entrepreneurship and as well we should uh, develop ICT among our society, among our population. ICT stands for Information Communication Technologies. Okay, and as well there are other programs as Ruhani Janguru, which says that every university should conduct demo day for gathering the best 
product projects from the students and present it to the world and prize it somehow. So as well, our president, first president opened uh, the Kazakh Silicon Valley, the place where our IT people create their products. It's called Astana Hub. It's located near the Expo, near the AIFC center, for example, Astana International Financial Center. And uh, they have acceleration and incubation programs. And the main one is acceleration, which uh, should enlarge your business in several times, but before entering this program, you should have the minimum viable product and first sales. How do you get it? You get it on our incubation program. Okay, there is the same Silicon Valley in Almaty in Kazakhstan. It's called Tech Garden. They are located in IT Quartal. Previously, they were uh, in suburban area, but they moved, and now every IT person wants to work in their co-working and uh, get the seed funding from them. They distribute up to uh, 30,000 US dollars. They give 20,000 US dollars in cash to every startup and 10,000 US dollars as the educational program. Okay, so how to foster the young entrepreneurs? First of all, let's clarify what is technological entrepreneurship or sometimes we call it techpreneurs. Okay, technological entrepreneurship is creating a new business, the basis of sustainable competitive advantage of which is based on innovative high-tech ideas. So you should have innovation and high-tech under the hood. If you open the new company and there is no innovation and high-tech, it means that you are not startup, you are just new company. And not every company is, not every IT company is a startup. Okay, our role models are uh, the best techpreneurs such as Elon Musk, Pavel Dura, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Sergey Brin. Mission, vision, objectives and tasks. Okay, our mission is to enlarge the quality and quantity of Kazakhstani startups and give our students the understanding of the process of technological entrepreneurship and the modern IT skills required on the market. Okay, our vision, we deliver our course as a online video lectures in the form of the flipped class when the teacher only checks and facilitates the process of education but students study on their on their own at home okay uh, we deliver this course as the elective subject with three on three credits it takes approximately 45 hours and we gather people from with different background for example uh, IT people from FIT faculty, finance people from business school and economic people from the International School of Economics. Okay, we communicate, we connect our students with the industry through the visiting of different events and making a lot of networking on these events because everybody, every startup, every person should find the mentor, the person who is uh, in several times smarter, bigger, more successful than the students itself. So our objective is, objectives are uh, to develop IT competence, teamwork and business skills among our students. So we train the teams, they consist out of three or five people at maximum and we ensure that these teams enter into the ecosystem, into the startup ecosystem of the whole city and the whole country. Okay, we give our students such tasks as creation of MVP, joining the startup community, pitching in front of the big audience on some events, uh, finding a mentor on these events as well through the networking and preparing the best application for the accelerator such as Astana Hub or Tiergarden or some international accelerator. 